so it's Hannah from Head Office at Boogie Bee, and I'm with Mari today, who is um, our franchisee up in Edinburgh, Mid and East Lothian. And we were catching up a couple of, well, about a week or so ago now, um, with Mari because she won an award from the Federation of Small Businesses in Scotland. Um, and you'll need to catch up on our post about that and about um, how Mari won the award. But we are catching up today because Mari went to collect her award and we just wanted to find out a bit more exciting information about it, really. So, Mari, how did it feel going to collect your award? Were you feeling a bit nervous? A bit excited? A bit of everything? <laughs> Absolutely. It was, you know, it felt like a really big deal, actually, Hannah, because, you know, it was um, at Butte House, which is our First Minister's residence. So it was quite a formal event. Um, Definitely. I had to get the bus into town. I've not got the bus into town since I was like, I don't know, 18 or something crazy. <laughs> um, so it was quite an experience. And obviously arriving, um, as you may have seen some of the pictures, I took giggles with me. So when I arrived... I I thought he needed to make it a little appearance with us today. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was all very formal. So myself and Karen had said we were coming. We had our IDs and we got our IDs checked by security. But of course, Giggles didn't have ID. So there was a whole conversation around whether or not he was allowed past the security gates. Um, luckily, they were very lovely and they let me take him up as well um, up into the, the sort of main chamber, which was just so beautifully decorated like amazing decor like the door handles had loads of decoration and beautiful gilt mirrors it was really quite an event um, and yeah. of course being the sort of um business that we are we took giggles in and he got a little bit naughty and a little bit cheeky and slid down the banister with all of the first minister's <laughs> portraits he got himself up on the mantelpiece and had a little bit of a a play around um, and they had obviously it being such a sort of formal event they had their own press people there who were sort of filming and taking pictures and we had a discussion about putting giggles on the chandelier um, oh, wow. but we were probably <laughs> told that that would not be acceptable not allowed and um, so although the press guys seemed to be quite up for that they were like yeah let's do it um, but unfortunately we couldn't pull that stunt off so <laughs> Oh, and we've got a brilliant, and um, there's a brilliant video as well of, on um, on our YouTube page showing Giggles sliding down the banister, um, having lots of fun. So do definitely go yeah, and check it out. Much clarity with the security staff. <laughs> oh, and who else was um, like what other companies were there collecting awards who else was there so there was a big mixture there was 12 awards um, in all and the people that I really connected with you know when you walk into a room you sort of are drawn to people and um, they were all female business owners so I connected okay. with um, a lady Donna she owns a refillery business um, up in Aberdeen. There were a lot of people from Aberdeen actually. So that was a really interesting business. There was also the Young Enterprise Award and that's owned by a lady who is 19 and she has a business called Candles from the Croft, um, which is amazing. It's so lovely to meet, you know, other females in business, other women that are just out there doing their thing, moving stuff forward. Um, and those are the, the sort of people I spent most of my time chatting with. Yeah. There are obviously some huge companies there that do amazing yeah. work in sustainability. Um, but given I felt a little bit out of my depth, I didn't talk so much to the men in the suits. But <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, what fantastic to connecting with them a little bit more when we go to Blackpool of course for the final and yes. uh, lots of the Scottish cohort will be down there as well so a really big mm -hmm. mix of people doing different things yeah uh, lovely and yeah no that's fantastic um and who actually presented the awards Obviously, you were in Butte House, where the First Minister of Scotland lived, but yeah. who actually presented the awards? <laughs> yeah, so unfortunately, the First Minister wasn't able to attend, but Mary McCallan came. She's a member of the Cabinet. Uh, she's yeah. actually a phenomenal um, lady. She came over and had a little chat with us, and she's she's due a baby. So we had a oh, little chat cool. about how, yeah, she might come to Boogie Beat with her little one. Um, actually, we had a little chat about, you know, maternity leave and being a working parent and how that's going to be completely different. Um, yeah. And Mary McCallan is one of the first um, females in the cabinet to say she's actually going to take her maternity leave, you know, and not just take six weeks off, which I personally think is really important to really change how things are higher up because... Yeah. 
you know, we have the right to have a family and to do well in our careers and that all of these things, they should yeah. feed into each other. So I felt like she was a really inspirational woman to be yeah. handing out these awards that I felt, you know, yeah. I could connect with on that level. Lovely. Oh, that's incredible. So, oh, no, that's brilliant. So it just sounds like it's the most fantastic and amazing experience. And like you said as well, I mentioned in uh, May, we're both going to be heading to Blackpool where the winners, um, so everybody in the country that has won a regional award from the SB will get um, gets invited to Blackpool and we will get announced as well there'll be some winners that will be announced overall which will be very exciting um, and we're really looking forward to having a little trip up to Blackpool and to see what happens. So exciting <laughs> isn't it? It's so exciting it's lovely that we can go together as well and see I know, you know very and meet the other people that have won franchise business awards from across the the all the regions. Yeah. So that'll be really, yeah. really exciting to do and uh, and yeah, and see what happens. Yeah, definitely. So watch this post. We will jump on and do another video once we have come back from Blackpool. So thank you so much, Mari, for your time. And we shall speak to you soon. Right, bye. bye.